All right. Well, I, I wish I wish I could offer better news. No, it's not that the individual behind me has been removed from his post. Rather, rather, we didn't hit our Monday parlay, thus ending our streak. And it sucks. It's not fun. But to be fair, we're now riding a 1-0 Tuesday night streak. So let's keep it moving, shall we? We ask that you do a couple of things. I feel like Doc is just leering over me. All those fire Doc columns I wrote here in Philadelphia coming back. Look, I'm happy to be wrong if they actually make a top seed. We're going to take advantage of them tonight because Joel Embiid has been on a tear. And I, I think this guy, I I, I think he is going to screw it up. But let's head on over to DK. Hey, by the way, we're going to ask you to do a couple of things today. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our wonderful, amazing, beautiful channel that grows at an increasing rate by the day and we want you to be a part of it and if you're already a part of it and you come back i don't want to neglect you we love you and thank you for being a part of the number that continues to grow and look you're far from just that that's why you chat that's why you talk to us that's why you build your own community within this so thank you first and foremost let's start with the philadelphia 76ers and also i'm going to tell you about DraftKings. you know that money is still there and everything so we're going to do that after we build this nice and easy three-leg parlay. Let's start with the Kings getting five and a half on the road. And Embiid is just on this monster lift after destroying the Hornets. It's the Hornets. I get it. He drops 50 plus, what, 53 on Charlotte. So clearly coming off of that game against a dog shit team, you would expect some momentum. I don't know how much he's going to keep. It's not like the Kings are a fantastic matchup for Embiid to slow him down. They're really not. So I do think Embiid is going to have himself more of a night than not 30, mid-30s. I mean, he could get 40 on this Kings team. But the Sixers are not a great basketball team right now. And the Sixers are still what their record says they are. And moving forward right now, even though they're still without Tyrese Maxey, they are in a situation where they've put together a couple of big wins, but those big come with, and I don't even want to put an asterisk or anything along those sides. Those wins come with caveats, and I think that's what it is. You should beat the ever-living pus out of the Charlotte Hornets and drop 53 on their head. I expect that from a league MVP candidate or just league MVP. And I'm not putting him down for that. I'm saying, hell yeah. Will he do it again? I don't know. And if not, then the Sixers become in trouble. Now they're relying on DeAnthony Melton, a 20-point game from either DeAnthony Melton or Tobias Harris, on top of what they're getting, a double-digit assist game from James Harden. Kings are not awful, as we know. They had a tough one on the road. They're still on the road here following the Knicks. Not a big road trip, right, from New York to Philadelphia. So it's not like they're flying from Phoenix to Denver. Sacramento is hanging in this game. I think their bench is decent enough to hang with Philly's bench, and that could be a difference maker because Doc is going to screw something else up at the top, the rotation. Something's going to happen here. It's at home, which is going to be tight, and it's under six, which I don't love. But I think the Kings plus five and a half is where I'm going to start. Under 231 and a half is where we'll go next. Top two teams here squaring off, at least from a marquee standpoint, not from a record standpoint. Hell no, not from a road record standpoint from the Golden State Warriors. But here's what we know, right? We look at this with the understanding, the expectation, I guess, of the Philadelphia 76 or Sixers, geez. the Golden State Warriors hanging in this game. It's a three and a half point spread for a team who has struggled, and that's putting it lightly on the road right now. They are god awful on the road. Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green are the names we have to deal with in this game. Looks like Draymond's going to play. That's why I'm banking on this being an under. Looks like Andrew Wiggins will not. That's why I'm staying away from the Warriors. But if you, first off, if you like Golden State on that spread or even to win this game outright, like if you like Golden State in any capacity to show up and 
make this about the finals and make this about the playoffs and sending a message to an Eastern Conference team just fresh off of knocking off the Boston Celtics. We just saw that right on Saturday. Huge win for them against Boston. Uh, okay, well, then you, I think this is an underplay. I don't think Golden State outshoots the Milwaukee Bucks in that building. I think this is more of a concerted defensive effort, especially with Draymond Green, to where we're seeing this slide under. Look, we're anything above 230, I'm fine. It's 231 and a half right now. So understand that if it does dip to 230, you are taking one and a half points worse of it. But between these two teams and understanding, of course, that it's been a struggle for Golden State, but they have played well defensively at the very least. And with Milwaukee, you know, we're still dealing with Drew Holiday at the moment, who's questionable. And it does look like for the moment, Chris Middleton is coming back. But what is that? Right? Like, what is that 35 minutes, 25 points from Chris Middleton? Probably not. So I wouldn't bank on Middleton's return, especially if that coincides with Drew Holiday's absence as an infusion of points for the Bucs. Again, we just talked about this with the Sixers. Yeah, both of these teams in Golden State and Milwaukee have guys who could explode right now. But we're going to go on the other side. All right. Let's look at this here from a grand scheme of things, if you will. We want you to turn $5 into $150. This is not part of the parlay. This is a way for which you can turn $5 into a bankroll on DraftKings. So all I need you to do as a first time as a new user, for whatever reason, you're not on DraftKings, that's fine, is sign up right now. Click that link right now. It'll open up. Click that link. Put your information in. It will take you less time between now and when I finish this video to put your information in, link an account, PayPal, what have you, $5, deposit that in only $5. That's all I need you to do is deposit only $5. Now, go to North Carolina. Uh, see, all right, it's closed because they know. If it's open, take North Carolina. It's probably going to be closed. I imagine that's going to be locked off the book. That's fine. Don't worry. I'll do the work here for you, okay? So what I need you to do with that $5, it's probably not going to let you take Houston either, right? See? That's fine. We're going to see what I'm doing. I'm finding the heaviest money line favorite for you. All right, let's try Utah. Utah is closed. All right. All right. Don't worry. I found it here for you. See, as I was looking for the heavy, heavy, heavyweight and being greedy, I found one that makes a lot of sense. Texas Tech, I'm telling you, is not going to lose to Eastern Washington. So that's an easy one here. Texas Tech, $5 wager. That's going to return you $150 as soon as Texas Tech knocks off Eastern Washington. That's it. It's an easy one. That's how you can turn five into 150. All right, before we get back, build our, or get out of here, I'll tell you about the Discord, but we have our third leg here to build, and that's going to be a late game. And we just mentioned the Boston Celtics. I'm going to take three, I'm going to take the full possession with the hook at home for LA. You know, at this point, overall, at least, I think Anthony Davis, if if you have a healthy Lakers team, which I know everybody's going to be probable, questionable, what have you, and it does look like Anthony Davis, despite being on the report, is going to play tonight, and that's what we're banking on here, okay? So if these guys are out, and that's always the caveat, then do not play this leg, all right? Hit me up on the Discord. I'll tell you how you can get there, the chat suggest a way, what have you, but do not play this leg if either Anthony Davis or LeBron James are out, all right? Both are out, then my God, what are you thinking? Here's the thing. Lakers healthy, taking advantage of a Celtics team that's just trying to get out of there. And look, I'll tell you, they stayed in LA, okay? This is not hunkered down in a hotel in Los Angeles when you have a Clippers and Lakers game. You're going to go do stuff. There are things happening in Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. So looking around at the opportunity to take advantage of what should be a sluggish Boston team. Also, the fact that this is the last leg of their road trip and they can't wait to get back to Boston. Here's a good chance right now to sneak in at plus three and a half. I do think as soon as and, and again, maybe there is something here, maybe not. But the only way this drops 
is if a ton of sharp money comes in, which I don't know. And also is if both of these guys or at least one of these guys is out, right? So if not, and they're solidified and they're locked in, well, maybe that does dip a little bit. Drop what I meant for the Celtics, but maybe that does dip a little bit for the Lakers. Maybe that does dip down to two and a half if, in fact, both of these guys are official as opposed to just being this ridiculed probable, what have you. So there's our Kings plus five and a half under 231 and a half. Lakers plus three and a half. Three pick parlay plus 581. Appreciate you all rolling with us. The Discord one more time for you because I have to remind you the first week is free. We have a lot of smart, sharp individuals on both sides. The community is here. The winning community is here. Your first week is free. There's a link below. Your first week is free. I don't want to bog you down anymore. I'm just going to tell you that your first week is free. You can see that. Our pal Jairo Sandozo, sharp cat in the Discord here, giving out some MMA stuff all over the place. You never know where we're going to go and who we have doing it. First week is free. Come on. Come on. All right, I'll leave you with that at the very least.